Hi there, it's Crafty Candy, craftycandy.blogspot.com. Uh, if you haven't subbed yet, please sub. If you haven't um, hit the blog yet, please step by and, and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Um, okay, this is my top 20 in 2012 video. I was tagged by Zio, Zio Pre K202, um, my new CFF here in Chicago. Uh, I met her actually through YouTube and. Um, I thought it was cute when she tagged me. So I'm going to try to do this in my allotted time on my phone here. Um, things that I can't do without. My very favorite things. 2012. I hope nothing is a repeat from last year, but I don't think I made a video last year, so I'm good. Number one thing I use the heck out of is my uh, French script big background stamp from um, Stampin' Up. I use it to make backgrounds. Um, I, I use it all the time. When, when I have to think of a project that incorporates my style, this is almost always on the list. Um, so that's number one. And then number two, to go along with it, would be the Perfect Pearls and the Versamark. I just, I use the Versamark for, you know, watermark stamping, Perfect Pearls, embossing, whatever. I always have a Versamark and one in the, in the closet just in case. So these three things, I couldn't make a card for a girlfriend without it, I don't think. Um... This year, I um, splurged a little on myself and bought myself um, a re-inking stamp from Vistaprint. Um, I love having this. I love that I can put this on the back of my Operation Right home cards, my um, your paper pantry projects, whatever. This has just been the, the neatest thing for me to have. It was a little bit of a splurge. I don't know, not a big one, like $12 or something. But I'm, I'm so happy to have that. Um, uh, one of the things that I, I really couldn't, couldn't do without. I don't. I wouldn't be half the crafter I am if it weren't for Operation Write Home. If you haven't heard about Operation Write Home, what we do is we send blank greeting cards. We make the card. The card front is all gorgeous, and we leave it blank, and we send it to deployed soldiers. They then can write a note and send a birthday card home to their wife, or a cute little kid card home um, to their family, to their friends, whatever. So um, I last year I made about I think it was eleven. 112 cards. It was over a thousand cards last year, and uh, I'm very proud of my affiliation with this group. I, um, my daughter is has just uh, separated from the Navy. She was active duty uh, Navy. My son-in-law is active duty Air Force. I have cousins and brothers and uncles and grandparents. I'm a big military family, so I'm very proud of my participation in this. If you haven't heard about them, Operation Ride Home dot org. Um. Another thing I use a lot of are buttons, and the more vintagey, the older looking, the better. I do use a fair amount that are kind of smaller and plain, but I love my um, my vintagey buttons. My nest abilities. Anybody who's ever crafted with me or um, helped me put together card kits or watched me shop knows I, I need my nesties. Without them, I don't know. Things are just boring. Um, this year I found these ruffled flowers. I love these. They're just so pretty and they come in all kinds of sizes. These I bought um, on Top Hatter, but um, Webster's Pages has some. Oh, you, you can find them all over. I just, I love my, my ribbon roses. These, I don't know if you guys um, find these, do this, but at um, Home Goods, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx, they're all one company, one parent company. I, in the little, there's a tiny little stationery section. It's like a quarter of one aisle. They'll have stamps. They'll have colored pencils, nice pre-made cards, and they also often have these one-sided note cards. Okay, this envelope doesn't match, but they come in a box with matching envelopes. And there's like 30 or 40 cards and envelopes. Um, I use the crap out of these for mini albums and um, as card bases. I just. I love these. I don't go into one of those stores without looking for these, and it's usually three or four dollars for for all of these, and it's always a good weight. I I love these. This has been one of my favorite finds this year. Uh, number ten. I mention her on almost every video because I use her stuff on almost every video. Um, the paper bag lady, paper bag lady on Etsy. She's also here on. Um, YouTube. She has the most amazing trims. These seam bindings, I I think she might hand dye them herself. I don't know. I don't know because the quality is perfect. There's never a flaw. There's never a wrinkle. And the colors are so rich and saturated. And I just, um, 
I do her grab bag. It's five dollars, and I think it's fifteen generous yards of trim for five bucks. And she just sends me all kinds of stuff. And sometimes I can kind of tell her I'm, I'm looking for creams or wipes this time or whatever. Best five dollars on Etsy, I think. Um, punches. So I'm packing for um a scrap on Sunday with my mom and my CFF and and my mom's buddies. It's really I crash my mom's scrap is what I do. And I have nine punches packed for like a six hour scrap. That's how much I need my punches. I, I like the Stampin' Up! brand the best. I like that they're layered and that they're fitted and coordinated. It just makes sentiments gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't, I don't think I could make a decent card um, without my punches. Then I've got, um, these came with my Cricut, and I bought my Cricut in January, um, which is not on my, my must-haves, because I don't use it as often as I thought I would, but they're, I don't know what they're called, but they, they reverse clip, you know what I mean? So I just pick it up, and it holds it for me without doing anything, and that's just the biggest boon for a crafter ever. Um, so my tweezers, and then this I found later in the year is burlap. I just... I freaking love the burlap. If you watched like the last videos, I think I've had it on most projects. Um, love, 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 love the burlaps. That's going to go into next year for sure. I didn't put the um, chalkboard paint on here because I just got my first bottle for Christmas, but I know next year that's going to be on the list. I also found this year um, Scotch Glue from Paper Phenomena, Kathy Orta, who I adore. I have to watch her on mute, but I love her projects. Um, most of you probably watch me on mute, too, so that's karma. But anyway, I, I really like this. I like that it doesn't wrinkle my paper. I like how quick it dries. Um, I'm very happy with this. I don't use it on my Operation Right Home cards. I use my ATG gun, um, which is not in this year because I've had that sucker for a while. But, you know, I couldn't do anything about my ATG gun. Uh, burlap, scotch tape, um, a couple of paper lines I really found this year. I think um, Cartabella was new this year. This is by Echo Park. The colors, the patterns, the collections are amazing. I love them. I've got, I think I've got every one she's made. And then Bow Bunny. Everybody knows Bow Bunny, but this particular um, collection, Serenade, I just love it. It is so my style. I bought everything I could get my hands on. The 6x6, six six, the 12x12, 12 12, the stamps, the chipboards, the whole nine yards. That's what my little intro card is made with. I just, I love the Bow Bunny. In the Echo Park. Um, okay, this one is kind of funny. So, I'm not going to mention her name. I'm not going to mention the store. But these bags I use for my swaps all the time. They're perfect for cards, for just a ton of different things. And they've got a little adhesive strip. These are what the ice cream sandwiches go in at a um, particular uh, fast food store. And, and my mom has a, a friend who works there. And they changing them over or something and she had a whole box of them and she said can you use these and my mom said yes we can use them so I probably have 200 and I would take 200 more I use these all the time I love these bags no you may not have any sorry that's the deal um okay and then Kanban this is something I, I know you guys aren't a lot of you aren't aware of um there's a lot of foil on them so they're the glare's rough sorry about that but the quality on this like can you hear that and here's the cardstock from um, Michaels, right? That's the difference. And you can almost even see how much thicker it is. But the images are gorgeous. Their rubber stamps are phenomenal. I cannot get a bad image, and I am not a good stamper. So there's pretty ones. This, this is part of the Cafe collection. This is part of the Birds of Paradise. They're almost finished cards, quite honestly. It's almost you just stick the sucker on top of some pretty paper, add a ribbon, and you're done. So they're definitely my go-to in a pinch, but they're so beautiful, and the quality's amazing. Kanban. Couldn't do without my bling. Who can? Um, I prefer Prima. Say it with Pearl. Say it with Crystal. In the city of Chicago, believe it or not, it's hard for me to come by. So I often settle for the recollections, which is not a bad quality. I just like the Prima better. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. That was 17. 
18 would be YouTube. I love my YouTube. I can't live without my YouTube. When I'm bored, when I need inspiration, when I need an idea, when I need whatever, it's YouTube. Um, 18 would be Pinterest. Totally Pinterest. I found Pinterest this year and it, I am a Pinterest nut. I have the biggest Pinterest problem ever. But anything you want to know, Pinterest has it. 18, 19. 19 is your paper pantry. Um, the swapping, that online community I have found to be such an unbelievable boost to my to my personal skills that I've gotten so much better just by being inspired by these people. Um, your paper pantry .com is the best website on the web. And then number 20 has to be my crafty friends, my real ones in real life, like um, Zio and Lori and my mom. Um, and then also my virtual friends, like Deanna, who's tagged. Deanna, you're doing this next. Um, and Anne and um, so Jan, who does Copics coloring that's phenomenal. And, and the people I see on, on the web, some of them that I've never even interacted with, that I just love their work. So the, the women in my life it happens to be all women, the women that make up my, my crafting world, virtual and real, um, really, they should be 1 through 20, to be honest with you, because they're the biggest part of my world. So, But anyway, those are my top 20 that I don't think I could live without. Probably the longest video I've ever made. Sorry. Um, Deanna, you're tagged. I'll be watching for your video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.